I definitely am kind of all about going out with your friends and seeing the real world. Um, so when I joined society, I joined it at the beginning of my second year. I'm not sure that we really implemented anything specific. We just kind of tried to grow it as naturally as we could. So we were just kind of friendly to everybody, encourage people to come along, you know, help people to kind of fall in love with farming, which is what we did. I've been up there three times, four times, I think. Three times now, I think. So I know that like a lot of them had never done kind of long uphill stuff before, but there were some people who kind of were really not struggling, but they were kind of feeling it of like three quarters of the way up. But um, you know, you just kind of keep the spirits up and, and keep laughing. It's never going to not be fun just hanging out with friends, even though there were people who were suffering, but they they still got there and they still had fun doing it. It's, it's always good kind of bringing people into something that they've never done before, just because I think we should all be kind of uh, expanding our horizons and trying new things. The mountains, like mountains are crazy, they're fucking huge, they're huge things, they, like you can go out and you just hang around with your friends and you go up to the tallest point in the country and you can just look out at everything and it's it, nothing else compares to it. Like you're conquering the ground. It's it's animalistic and it's weird, and we don't really understand why we want to climb the mountains, but you just kind of do it because it's there and it's the best thing ever. And if I can kind of give that to people, then you know that's that's all I want. The quarry was cool. The quarry was really scary when we first walked into it. We didn't realise how sketchy it was. We kind of walked into it and the floor fell away and the walls went up hundreds and hundreds of feet all around you. I think the floor dropped away hundreds of feet below you and we were suddenly kind of staring at these sheer walls with kind of recesses in them that you could walk along and we were like, oh god. We are here with like 20 people, most of whom who've never been climbing outdoors before, we've never guided before, and we're going to be on the side of like sheer rock face, 100 feet off the ground. But we just kind of ploughed on through and <laughs> went up to one of the easier places. Yeah, just start setting the ropes up, and actually, once we got going, and once you get used to the kind of fact that you're hanging out on the side of a 200-foot uh, cliff, it was great. It was, it was just like being in the gym at home.
the parts that were harder or parts that I worried about or parts that were a bit scary. But as a whole, like that's the experience. It's not you're not just there to kind of go and have a job. You're out there to experience the real world and kind of live in this kind of more visceral and more real outdoors experience. And as a whole thing together, that really develops you. And yeah, I don't think I'd change a single thing about that. Um, we planned the trip because we wanted to do something that wasn't completely wild and super, super dangerous because we're not trying to get people killed, but we also wanted to do something that maybe people hadn't done before, so North Wales and Snowdonia was perfect for that. I'd like to think maybe I've started to turn from it being one of the kind of lower and failing societies up towards it being a more productive and more popular society. But I think also as well, the guys after me are going to hopefully make even more of an impact because they're going to kind of take that steam and run with it. And I hope they keep yeah, heading in the same direction. You know, and after they go, they find somebody as good as they are to carry it on and it just kind of builds right up. When I joined, there wasn't a whole lot going on. There were kind of three or four consistent members, but it was definitely sort of on its way out. Okay. See, yeah, I've thought about this before, and in a way, it would be nice to kind of leave something behind and say, you know, like, this is kind of where this incarnation of the society started, and like, this who we were but in another way who am I to say that like we come and we go like we're all kind of we're all boats on the fucking passing water you know what I mean like yeah. you can't start scratching your name into something that doesn't belong to you it, like I don't own the society I just kind of ran it for a year and, and the people who are going to run it after me will run it and then they will leave and then the people after them the people after them and it's equally as much theirs as it is mine and whatever the society is or turns into, it's not for me to say, you know what I mean? Like, it's out of my hands now. And I'm just happy that I had it. Oh, I did.